Hello everybody, my name's Davina Drummond and I'm one half of Yara and Davina, the artist duo. And I'm Yara El Shabini, the other half of the artist duo, Yara and Davina. The work we create is social practice artwork and I'm going to let Davina briefly talk about that. So essentially social practice art is art that places the social at the heart of the work so that really focuses on conversation making essentially and meaning making rather than emphasis on material qualities. So people are at the heart of what we do. So we create work that's really simple formats, accessible and engaging so that we can talk about a wide range of issues. So conversation is always at the heart. So we might be looking at geopolitics, mental health, social justice, um, relationships through a variety of formats. And what would inspire you, Yara? What would you say inspires us as a duo? For, for us, I think it's about making a, making art more accessible to a wider public. How can we create work that is really engaging and humorous and playful and light, has a light touch to get people together to talk and think about social and political issues? Brilliant. And what do you think your favourite artwork you've ever made is? And you, you answer it quickly and I'll answer. I would say my mini golf, which was uh, one mini golf out of nine, which looked at the Arab Israeli West Bank barrier system using the format of mini golf. So people were invited to play the mini golf and think about larger global and social and political issues. Brilliant. And I'd probably say my favourite artwork I've made is a piece I did for Great Ormond Street Hospital, which is called Take a Joke, where I worked with families to create jokes that would then go on the little tickets that you get in Take a Number machines that you get in like um, shops and um, hospitals. Um, so we created these jokes that were context specific to do with what it's like to be a child in hospital. And then they're now dotted around different waiting rooms at Great Ormond Street Hospital. And one of the things I'd say about that is that is in its sense illustrates the different kinds of work that we make. And as a duo, we make such a different variety of work. We've made one project called Let's Mend, which was a clothes mending service, but actually got people to talk about what needs to be mended. We've worked in, we've made a May poll that was a, called Opinion Poll, which got people together to talk about their opinions and thoughts and creating the May poll into a way to talk about different issues. We're working with the National Trust on a project with football, female football and women, looking at chants and the very fabric and crafting around football and fo football culture. So we don't work in one particular way. We work in many different ways to explore many different issues. So what did you study, Davina? I studied, um, I did an art foundation course first when I first graduated from school after doing art A-level. And then I did a degree in art textile. So looking at how we can use textiles to make art. Um, and then I did a post-grad in arts education. And that was really a way to think about what social practice art is, because it was the only course available at the time that allowed you to do that. What about you, Yara? I studied fine art in context, um, which I really embedded this idea of thinking about site, context and audience, which is something we always both do. When we make work, we think about the political context, the social context, is it a museum? Is it a library? Is it a public space? Is it a festival? And we think about how that affects the work. So that undergraduate really helped me. And I did my MA in uh, fine art at the Slade. What advice would you give to someone who's interested in becoming an artist? I think my number one advice would be to take hold of any opportunity that life throws for you, but not only take hold of opportunities that you're given, but make your own opportunities. Don't sit around waiting for an exhibition to be advertised that you can apply your work for. Make your own exhibition. Absolutely. And also never give up. There's going to be lots of uh, failure, unfortunately, lots of applications and commissions you apply for that you don't get. But don't give up. Just use that as a time to reflect and refine and keep trying and trying and trying. We both have a portfolio career in the sense that we do do other projects too. We're both visiting lecturers and we both teach occasionally as well. And oh, we, so we also do quite a lot of workshops and galleries and that kind of thing when, when appropriate. Absolutely. Um, so let's move on to the creative challenge that we're setting today. Yes, that's a fun bit. So the creative challenge that we're setting you today is in response to the artwork that we're going to be presenting at Norfolk and Norwich Festival, which is called Arrivals and Departures. We really hope all of you go and get to see the work. So it's essentially an arrivals board and a departures board, just like you'd find at a train station or an airport, but with a twist. We're inviting the public to submit names of people using an iPhone or, or online technology of people that have been born as in arrived or departed as in died. So for us, it's a, an artwork that invites people to talk about birth and death and the journey in between. Having conversations about death is incredibly important. 
So the challenge that we're going to set you is based on the Ghanaian tradition in West Africa, which is called fantasy coffins, where people create very wildly elaborate coffins for their future funerals. You'll see some images now. These are representing people's desires or wishes or dreams or things they love. We want you to think about what your fantasy coffin would be. Tavino, I'll ask you, what would your fantasy coffin be? I think I'd probably go for something super simple, Yara, and I'd go for a coffin that was somehow a livable, live coffin that had plants growing out of it, just because I absolutely love to cover my home with lots of plants and just makes me think about the sort of circle of life. Fabulous. That sounds great. So we invite so, all of you to create your fantasy coffins. Just draw it down on a piece of paper and we'd love to see your submissions. Yeah, we really look forward to seeing them. So please, please don't put it off. Do that drawing and send it to us. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thanks.